Hey guys, I'm back. My name is Smriti. I run SB Designer Shop and this is now my fourth video on this channel and doing a really good job of being consistent so hold me accountable if I'm not or if I skip a week. I'm gonna start off with doing videos once a week but maybe I'll up them to two a week if you guys find them interesting. I'm always open to your feedback and always reading your comments. I am responding to every comment right now so definitely drop your thoughts, your comments. I love hearing your guys' feedback. Anything you want to say, drop it below. And definitely hit subscribe. It shows me that you guys really like my content, you guys want to see more of the bags and yeah, let's keep going. So today I have I guess you can't see it in the dust bag, but today I wanted to show you guys the Kirigami Pochette. So this is the Louis Vuitton Kirigami Pochette, and for those of you who are not familiar, it does come in this little Russian doll style stacked, which I think is super cute, especially if you're like trying to store it away somewhere or not using a certain piece. I love that they stack inside of each other. They really, really thought that through with the design here. So again, just like the other videos, I am going to start off with an overview. We're going to do um, what fits and some pros and cons. So this is considered a small leather good. It's not considered a bag, but I have seen tons of videos out there where you can get the conversion kits to put inside. And basically it's like a little liner that you put inside and it's got some tabs and usually they come with a chain so you can like turn it into a shoulder bag, a crossbody. I think this is really the perfect size to do that with and it holds quite a bit. I'll show you a little bit later, but so the big the large pochette comes with a rosy pink interior. They're really pretty gold. And this, the only closure, it's snapped shut and it does, the snap is pretty strong so it, I wouldn't be worried about things falling out. This is the back, one solid piece of canvas, the sides. So, and then it does come with the medium one. So the medium one is, I would say, compare it to about like passport size. It's a little bit bigger than your passport. So your passport, maybe some cards, maybe even a key or so would fit in here. So I didn't show the inside of the other one, but. The side, back, the other side. Again, just the snap closure, just like the other one. Old logo here beautiful red interior. Then we have the last and final piece of the Karagami pochette. Same thing, canvas front, canvas all the way around. No Vachetta leather on here. Um, the same clasp that opens up. Again, these clasps are really strong. Wouldn't be worried about it opening at all. Go inside. And this would be approximately the size of your card. So like I showed in the other video, it's got room to hold at least like 10 or 15 credit cards in there. And that is probably what I'd use it for. I know some people use it as an AirPods case. Like I mentioned, you can put the crossbody conversion in this one. You can also do that for these as well. I know there are sellers on Amazon selling those kits. There are um, sellers on Etsy selling these kits. Um, anywhere really you can find them. So just Google that if you need one. But let's get into, so there's not really much to this set here. I will say this is one of the more budget friendly pieces on Louis Vuitton. Right now they are retailing for 745 plus tax, I believe, which is a pretty good steal, especially if you are getting all three of these pieces. And I've seen a lot of people just sell off the pieces they're not using or use them as gifts. I saw this person who was giving the little pieces as like wedding or anniversary presents to people. Maybe if you want to do like, like a little matching like mother, sister, daughter set or whatever. I've seen people like use this as a bag, gift away these, sell these. You can get really good money for them even if you sell them individually. A lot of people want them. A lot of people only want a certain one of these pieces so you can definitely get your money's worth with this set. So let's jump into what fits. I'll start with the large one. Let's see what I can get in here. I'm going to start off optimistic. Let's see if I can get my Damier Bean. I have it in the penguin print. It's probably the next one I'll do a video on but let's see if I can get that 
in there. Oh, I am pleasantly surprised. I am very surprised that the Clements wallet fit in here so nicely. It, I didn't even have to force it. It kind of just slid right in. Clements wallet. I'm going to do my iPhone 13 Pro. Let's see if that... Oh, perfect. I didn't have to force that one in there either. So that one fits in there nicely as well. I've got a hand cream from Bath & Body Works. I'm just going to set that on top. I don't know if I would do that just because if I open I don't want stuff to fall out. But just to show you guys if it fits. I have another one here. I'm going to put that in as well. Got some room up top. I mean... You could put your keys in here if you're trying to use this as a clutch or an everyday bag. Again, I would probably, that's what I didn't want to happen. So I'd probably configure it differently. But just to show you, it does fit. It does close all the way. It does snap shut. I would not be worried about things falling out of the corner as long as you're not putting like a, I don't know, like a lip liner or pencil. Even that really wouldn't fall out of here. But everything fits really nicely. This would be an amazing like date night clutch, just running to the store clutch. Again, you could put the conversion. You could even stick like a chain through the top here, like underneath. Like, if you were to put a chain underneath and wear it as a crossbody, you could definitely do that too. But so that is what fits in the large one. I'm going to dump this out here. I'm going to try to do one configuration without the Clements wallet just to show you, just in case you guys don't have a Clements wallet. So again, I'm going to start with my iPhone 13 Pro. I'm going to stick it in this way. It does fit perfectly. Like you can still close it, snap shut. You could put it standing up actually. Oh, it fell over, but put it standing up. Let's see. You could, if you wanted to, you could put the the medium size back in here. It is a little tight up top. Like it will shut, like it will snap, but it's a little tight. So I don't know if I would do that. Um, let's see. I have a card case. I'm going to put that in there. Maybe I'll tuck it in by my phone. Let's say I put the cards in the little mini one. I'm going to tuck that in there as well. I have this Touchland hand sanitizer. If you guys do want this, so I do run a second business called smurthydesigns.com. That is a custom gift shop. It's got ready-made items as well. I do sell this in my gift shop. So if you guys have been looking for this Touchland hand sanitizer, I absolutely love it. And you can find it in, the, in my store there. Or you can find it at Ulta. Um, let's see. So I, I stuck that one in there right next to that mini Kirigami piece. I'm going to do my, so it's basically just a key fob and an air tag. I typically keep an air tag in everything that I'm carrying, just obviously in case you lose it. I have a fob for my garage door. I'm going to put that in there as well. I've got a chapstick. See how it's fitting super nicely, actually. I'm going to put that hand cream back in there just because we have some room. Um, we have a more, little bit more room, so I'm going to add the other hand cream as well. I know you guys can't really see how I've configured this, but here. Again, nothing is... Let me put that back. Obviously, you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be holding it up to show people like that, I'm sure, if you were going... If you were wearing this and going out. Okay, so here you go. Fits super nicely. Nothing is being forced. It closes perfectly. Nothing is being bent here. No tension on the canvas. So I think that's really perfect. This is honestly everything I need for every day, maybe even a little bit more. So I love how much this piece fits. So I'm going to take all of that out. I'm going to intentionally dump it out now. And let's go to the second piece. So the second I'm going to do is the medium. Now, first, I know that I'm wondering, and if it hasn't been obvious, I just opened this Kirigami Pochette set this morning, so I've not tried or tested any of this. But all the stuff that I'm saying about durability, about um, wear and tear, about falling out, this is all from other research I've done, other videos that I've watched, and the reason I bought this is because I know I'm going to use it. So... Okay, so I was hoping my phone would fit in here, but it doesn't. So again, iPhone 13 Pro with case. I don't want to force it. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's it's kind of stuck. That's not going to fit. I'll try it without the case. If you, so I do have the gold the champagne. It looks white, but I have the gold one. 
So yeah, without a case, it'll go in really nicely. Oh, I love how that fits. I just don't think I'd carry my phone without the case like that. Anyway, let's just keep going. Actually, I'll just take it out. So I'm probably going to use this as my passport holder with a few, like, I'll probably put my passport in here, my boarding, my boarding passes when I'm traveling, any um, baggage, uh, baggage receipts, tags, whatnot, anything I need to keep handy, I will keep in this probably. So I'm going to start with my little card holder. So I'm going to put that in. I guess it could, yeah, it could stand. Let me see if I can fit the hand sanitizer in again. It's a pretty bulky hand sanitizer. Probably wouldn't use it with this. Um, and the chapstick. I would say, I mean, my hand sanitizer is pretty bulky. That's about all that will fit in this little guy. Again, it will shut. Let me take the hand sanitizer out. I'll try. I'll put the keys in there again. I think this would also be a perfect, like, grab and go grab and go small little thing to keep in your hand when you're just like running out the door again you can add the conversion and make it a crossbody let me put my phone so yeah and I love that the red interior of this matches my red phone case so that's probably what I would do is like when I'm traveling I'll keep this with me probably keep it in my bum bag across my chest or a crossbody of some sort but this is a perfect like just like the other one it is a perfect like keep all not keep all just like throw your essentials in here and go again this canvas um i didn't mention that earlier but this canvas when i was debating whether to get this or not the canvas i thought was going to be a little bit harder i don't know if you've noticed like some of their other like wallets and things because they're a little more structured because they have like slots and padding and like structured pieces inside the canvas feels a little bit hard but this is super soft i know showing this doesn't like help you visualize anything but the canvas is so much softer than i thought it was going to be and that makes these pieces so lightweight like this doesn't weigh anything it really does not weigh anything sorry let me get back to the what will fit in my bag so let's do the little little karagami shit. So this is my typical card case, which again, it only fits a few cards. This was actually made by a small business that does handmade leather pieces. I got this from the Dumbo flea market. I can't remember the brand, but it is a small business that hand makes luxury hand makes leather pieces. So in this, I've got about three cards in the front and I've got about three cards in the back and it's got a middle pocket too but if you guys can see this here it is a little bit longer than the small karagami so if you are trying to figure out like what size this mini karagami piece is it is about the size of the credit cards so i got my cards i'm going to slide in here stick this is card. Okay. So as you can see here, I've got just a few cards in here. It can hold a lot more, but right now I have about six cards in there. So I don't have more on me right now, but this will hold a few more. You could even hold it with less and put like my, this key fob doesn't really hang anywhere. So I could just kind of throw it in there, close this up, keep it in my bag or my purse. Um, people have been using it as an AirPods case. I don't have my AirPods on me. You can use it as a, it's a little tight with business cards just because business cards are thin and they don't have rounded corners. So I personally, I personally have thicker business cards, but I don't want them like scratching the side of the interior because look how beautiful the interior leather is. So I will not be putting my business cards in there, but that's another thing. You could even put cash in here, use it as a coin pouch. So many, so many different uses for this. So that is the what fits in the Kiragami Pochette set. Um, for pros and cons, I don't know. I guess I haven't used it enough to know pros and cons. I would say like over time, I'm sure the corners are going to wear a little bit just because it does like it is very soft canvas and the more you use it, the more it like rubs around in other bags or however you plan on using it. I'm sure long, long term down the road, the corners are going to rub. I've seen used pieces in pretty good condition because the leather is light here. Like, I mean, it will scratch a little bit, but not as much as like 
typical like lambskin pieces like it will scratch if you are rough with it um the interior is really easy to clean because it's not it's not the like fabric lining that some other louis vuitton bags have this is a really smooth leather lining so it is super easy to clean that's a pro um otherwise can't think of too many cons really like maybe so the only con i would say is like so on the bigger on the bigger piece here these are are sealed shut so these are sewed in which again pro but on these smaller pieces they are not so like this is like technically open here i don't know if other other youtubers show this but that is open it is not an issue whatsoever there is no gap underneath that something is gonna like go in here and like slip out through here but it is just something to keep in mind that these edges are not sewed even on this one i think it adds especially for the smaller pieces it does add a little bit more flexibility to the piece had this been sewed in there'd only be so much you could push it open but because it's not it's got some wiggle room and you could really really open this up so again won't be a problem things are not really going to slide out i would be interested to test it with like coins or something small but i don't see that happening i haven't heard anyone complain about that happening but that would be the only con of this piece. Again, pro is the price. There are few times in this day and age, 2022, where I would say the price of a Louis Vuitton item is a pro. But this one really is. If you are, again, if you're looking for a first time Louis Vuitton piece, I would go for this one. And if you don't want the whole set, you can buy these pieces separately pre-loved, especially if you see them in this colorway, the rose the rose pink colorway or the the this is a beautiful red and i should actually put these all side by side and the burgundy so look how beautiful this colorway is so if you see these pieces being sold separately and you see them in this colorway most likely they are from the kirigami pochette set also they do come out with like the limited edition style so i know they've come out like every year they come out with a new like spring or summer collection the new like sunrise pastel collection that came out this spring is probably one of my favorites every single like it came with this big one was in that beautiful pink light blue um sunrise pastel colorway then they had the medium one which is actually like a dark black purple pink which was pretty cool like really good for a night out and then the small one was like a really beautiful like green beige and khaki um i really want to get my hands on that piece it is sold out everywhere and it is going for like really really high on the pre-loved market because of how popular it is but anyway if you don't if you don't want to get the classic monogram one they do come out in limited edition prints if you're looking for a limited edition print that is something that is more useful a cheaper like set a small other good i highly 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 recommend this set so again once again i'm going to show you this sliding into each other another pro when you are not using these pieces they are so easy to store oh i should start with this one let's put the small one inside the red one close up the red one put it inside the larger pink one huge pro i think huge huge pro that you can store them like this when you're not using them and it keeps a lot of space and that's it that is the kirigami pochette set you guys let me know if you have any questions let me know your thoughts do you have one would you be interested in getting your hands on the limited edition pieces if i were to stock the limited pieces in my store is it something that you'd want to buy as a set or would you be totally happy buying them individually let me know and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye.